Hi, this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle, and I'm here to preview some reels that recently came into my shop and those that I plan to do some videos on as I work my way through the repairs of the week. And the first one comes in from um, John. John is in uh, Arizona. I had worked on a couple of John's reels, and he sent me two more. He sent me a Daiwa Procaster, the PMA-15S. been a long time since I worked on one of these. One of the first uh, pro, uh, baitcaster reels that I had, loved the reel to death, and eventually it just broke, but um, this is the MagForce. I'm going to do a video on this one just for old time's sake. The other one he sent me in is a uh, uh, an Abu. It's the uh, 6500C. It's an older reel. Looks like this one's been uh, in the dirt or in the, in the shed or somewhere highly um, tarnished. Lots of dirt and dust. Seems like there's a little hang up in there as well. We'll see. I'm going to take that one apart. We'll see if we can do a video on that one. So that's John. Thank you, John, for sending those in. Uh, next up is kind of an interesting one. Uh, it just got dropped off. So I have a Calcutta here. It's a Calcutta 400. I've done these before. Missing a side plate screw um, or a bridge screw. I think that might be the one that's controlling this. But at any rate, we don't have an anti-reverse with this. And I've hardly seen these with the anti-reverse fail. So uh, we might get underneath that and try and figure that one out. Uh, this one's brought in by Joe. Joe's local. Uh, Joe brought me a beautiful Pen 650SS and I asked Joe what the, the problem was with this reel and Joe said the only problem is is that it's got a right hand crank and he wants it as a left hand crank. And when he opened this up to do a conversion, he said it looks like the, the threading on the main gear is all stripped out. Now, i got to do a little research here. I'm not really sure if this is the one that used to have the conversion kit on it or not. But regardless, we may wind up having to buy Joe a new main gear to, to switch that handle over. But some of the earlier spin fishers, and it might have been the, the predecessor series, the one with the... Uh, the 6500 as opposed to the 650 where you actually had to change the knuckle in the uh, in the main gear in order to switch the handle over. But I told Joe we would take care of that and we will this week. All right, then I got one in that came in from uh, TJ. TJ is also local. He bought this beautiful new Stratic. Took it out striper fishing up on Cape Cod and dunked it in the water. So I uh, he just wants to make sure that uh, it didn't get sanded and nothing got inside the case. So gorgeous new reel, if nothing else, we're going to take this thing apart. We'll show you how it's now made, the new Stratix, and uh, we'll also clean this up to make sure that TJ can keep this thing fishing for a long time to come. So that's kind of a, a uh, purpose-driven one, but it's a um, an issue there that uh, needs to be solved. And then the last one, there's actually quite a few. Um, I got these reels from a fellow whose uh, dad recently passed away, and I was asked to, to kind of service them and put them back together again. So we're going to try and do our best to do that. So here's the first one. It's very interesting. It's a Penn 6.0. And you're saying, what's so interesting about the Penn Senator 6.0? Well, in this case, it's a lefty reel. So you don't see many of these around. I actually have one of these that's um, in parts condition. It has a side plate, but uh, it's just not working right. But uh, this is a 650, uh, 6.0 Senator Lefty. Maybe we'll do this one just to show you uh, the similarities and the differences on that. We also have a uh, high-speed uh, 402 Mitchell saltwater reel. This one's stuck. So we're not sure why this is stuck, but it's stuck. You can't force it, and I wouldn't recommend forcing it at this point. Looks like this one's been on a shelf a long time. Probably died in place, and somebody just put it aside because this rubber band not only is completely deteriorated, but it's melt melted into the, um, the fishing line. So my guess is that one's probably been sitting there a long time. We're not sure. We'll find out. And... Uh, Maybe I'll do a project on that one about why that, uh, that reel has failed. So, one of the things that's not failing is our uh, dedication and commitment of our first responders and all the essential personnel working during this pandemic. And I want to thank them personally for all they do to keep us safe and to restore our health during the pandemic. So, thank you all, whether you're 
police, fire, first aid, uh, EMT, any of the, uh, the trades that are involved, like uh, transportation, teachers and the like. Thank you for everything it is that you do. Well, here's the next one that's up. It's a very interesting one in that you just don't see them much anymore. This is the Pen 67 Long Beach. It's a big frame. And uh, this one's very similar in size to a 4.0 Senator. Uh, it's even got the three bar construction that the Senators would have. What it doesn't have is the, um, the trim rings, right? The middle trim rings on the outside that a Senator would have. And I'll have to get underneath. I'm not quite sure if this has the enhanced drag uh, sizes or not. I don't think it does. I think this uses the standard uh, setup and not the, uh, the bigger or the, the heavier duty uh, drag system. But that's a 67. I probably will do that one. Here's two that kind of got tangled up. Um, this, this came from a box sitting in the in a garage for a while. I don't think anything can be done with this reel. This is a Fenwick Mark III. It's a uh, quick fire system. It was made in Korea and it, uh, Fenwick is co of course known for their fishing rods. Uh, it's working but boy there's a rough grind in there and I might just do it to s explore inside see what's going on. Looks like some things are kind of messed up here. I don't know why, but this screw deep in the case doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, the badge has fallen off of it. So I don't know if that might be interfering with uh, something in there or not. But at any rate, if I get a chance, I perhaps will do that one. Next up is a very nice Sea line 47H, but something has gone awry. A fella told me that it uh, just stopped working. Well, I wonder if it stopped working because the line just got all tangled around it. Uh, but at any rate, I've done a recent one on a 47H, so I probably won't do that. And here's a Garcia 9600 missing the handle. So I don't know if the handle broke off or what. Very nicely uh, spinning. Bell trips. So uh, I have a couple of handles. We'll see if I can get one that uh, matches up with this from the, uh, the earlier C's, uh, series of Mitchells. And if I can... We'll uh, get that one out there and working again. So there's uh, there's three more that actually came in with that group. And uh, here's one of them. These are on poles. They just kind of grabbed everything and kind of threw it in the box. This is the Jigmaster 500S. Those of you that watch my uh, series, I apologize if this is off camera. Those of you that watch my series know this is the least favorite of my uh, of the Jigmasters. I just don't like this side mount. This has got the one screw take apart on the non-gear side, but what it has and, and why I don't like it is it only has the four mounting screws on the exterior of the gear side, and then it has a cover plate that's actually sitting over the two screws for the real seat. To me, that weakens the structure on this, and uh, I've seen these pull off and I've seen these frames bend. So uh, I think this one's just going to be in for the tune-up. And uh, hopefully we don't have anything with the frame issues there. So two more to go that were brought in. The next one is a uh, is a reel I personally like. It's on an older pole. This is the 7000 Abu uh, Ambassador. It's kind of hard to read. It looks like the 7000 C2. It's seen its share of fishing, that's for sure. It's kind of gotten all knocked up. My guess on the top when I see scarring like this is that that was sitting in a boat holder or a reel holder on a boat. And it just kept wrapping against the gun wall. That's kind of, it's hard to imagine anybody's hand actions would actually be scraping it like that. So my guess is that's just the, the wave actions and the ride in and out on the boat. And it just kind of was doing that, and wearing itself thin on both sides. Mechanically, you know, mechanically I understand it works fine. So we're just going to clean it up and uh, take that one fishing. And then the last one that comes in is one that I've done quite a few times over. So I don't think I'll be doing one on that, but it's just a beautiful example of a Pen 750SS. So uh, it looks like I got two, uh, two of the old SS series here. The 650, which we want to change over to a, uh, a left-hand crank. And we got this one already with the left-hand crank. So I could probably cheat and just go over here, see what's on this side, see how it's set up, and if I need to order the main gear or not, because the 650 and the 750 are very similar in nature. So we'll take care of this one as well. The SS stands for skirted spool. It means that the spool goes over the rotor, 
rather than some of the other reels that you're familiar with where the uh, the spool rides inside the cup. Most of the today's modern reels it goes over that. But at any rate, it's a skirted spool. That's why you see the SS designation. This was on the same boat, so I'm guessing, yep, probably, because I got wear right here. And again, if you're sitting that in a, um, in a rod holder, chances are the motion of the ocean or the... Uh, the in and out ride or the rock of the boat is scraping against something like the sidewall there. So just kind of an indication of the life that it has had. So those are uh, those are previews of what's coming up this week. If you if you see one of these that uh, I didn't mention I would be doing a video on, uh, let me know. And if I have time and uh, schedule permits, I'll be happy to try and add those to the, uh, the video request list. So this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. Have a great day. Well, just as I was about to wrap up, the postman came. So we have a few more boxes here for the week. So let's see what we got here. This one comes in from Michael in uh, Florida. Nice fishing grounds down there for sure. This one's up in the Jacksonville area. And uh, Michael is sending me an older, uh, looks like a Shakespeare. We have a lot of fans of the older Shakespeare uh, 2000 series models. Let's see which one this is. Kind of hard to tell between the, uh, the way it's wrapped and all. This is a gorgeous reel. So this is the 2062 Shakespeare. Looks like the bail wire is disconnected, but otherwise the reel's running tight, which usually is a matter of just uh, some old grease in it. But uh, what a gorgeous reel. So uh, thank you, Michael, for sending that in. We'll see what we can do to, to make that run nice and smooth. This has got the, um, the spiral gear in it, and it's a very nice performing reel with a lot of fun. So that's from Michael in Florida. Surprised to see that. And here's uh, Dick has sent us some beautiful and interesting older reels. Dick, Dick is from Philadelphia. He's got another one coming in. I don't think this one is unusual, but I'm... Uh, that it, uh, it merits attention. Like Dickie's recycling the bag that I sent him his last wheel. Okay, I just did one of these. This is the 975 International, but the difference here is this one's a lever drag, and uh, this one should be fun to work on as well. Seems to be uh, operating properly. Let's go into that max there. Yep, so 975 International lever drag. I have to check my library, see if I've done one of those. I'm not sure. If I haven't done one of those, we will certainly add it to my list. Uh, thanks for sending that in, Dick. And uh, we got one more coming in. So just when you think it was safe to go back, I got a box of rocks here. Oh, actually, I got a box of reels. comes in from Juan, he's in Texas. Now, just for future reference folks, don't pack a box like this. Not when you're entrusting your, uh, your reels to the, uh, the friends at the local post office. So we got four big ocean going reels here. And I think uh, this is an Olympic, this is a huge Olympic reel. This will be interesting to get underneath. We have a um, Best I can tell, we have a bent star adjuster. I'm not sure if that's affecting this reel at all. And we have no drag on this one. It may simply be that uh, that it's just uh, out of, has been bent out of round or something there, or definitely cross-stripped. And uh, that's probably why you can't adjust the, uh, the gear on that one. Either that or it got ruined in the, uh, the shipping without any kind of packaging. So you can see how that goes. Next up is a Shimano. This is the TLD and uh, lever drag system. And here's one that appears that the lever drag does not go into free spool on. Not, oh well, maybe it does. I got the line wrapped here. Let's see. Okay, now we're going to see what we got. Yeah, there's something that's. Uh, well, it's full tape down. Let's try this again. Okay, 
So this one probably just needs adjustments and cleanup. I, if I haven't done the uh, the TLD 25, I will. The the uh, the the T stands for Triton. It was part of the Triton series, and um, we have another Olympic here. Oh, these are just tied down here. This one seems to be doing what it should be doing, and of course, in this case, the, uh, the star adjuster is on properly. So uh, at least we've got one to go compare against. And then we have an Avenger, an Akuma Avenger uh, level line reel. It's got some line wrap around there. That may have just been me doing that uh, as part of this, but I, have, I don't believe I've done this one, so we'll add that to the list as well. So now I think we've finally recapped everything that we've got done. Uh, we've got a lot of work on the uh, bench this week. Again, if you've uh, seen a reel that I previewed that I don't plan to do a video on and you would like to see that, please let me know. Please all stay safe, stay well, stay listening to our authorities regarding the pandemic. Yeah, I know, we're trying to let our foot off the gas a little bit here, thinking that it's over. It's not over until everybody is safe and, uh, and sound and healed from all of this. So thanks again to our first responders. This is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. Have a great day.